Well, for those who think bipartisanship in the nation's capital is just a pipe dream, think again. A group of more than 80 members of Congress has announced a legislative reform package that they say would end government gridlock. Maine Congressman Mike Michaud is a member of that coalition, and I spoke with him from the Washington Capitol steps. Tired of government not working, a coalition of congressmen and women have banded together and have presented a legislative package aimed at moving the government forward. The group is called No Labels Problem Solvers. It's been uh, pretty partisan on both the House and the Senate side, and uh, if we're going to get things done here in Washington, we've got to work together. That's uh, what part of this uh, No Labels group is all about, is working together, uh, moving forward in a common uh, direction. The No Labels Coalition was formed back in January with 24 members. Since then, it's tripled to 81 members from both parties. The group introduced the Make Government Work package last week, consisting of nine bills. And if you go to nolabels.org, you'll see the uh, nine pieces of legislation that we're promoting, uh, such as no budget, no pay, uh, focus on another piece of legislation on a two-year uh, budget, look at uh, waste and, uh, in the system, duplication in the system is another piece of legislation. The Congressional Coalition also aims to cut the federal agency travel budget by 50%. Michaud State's improvement will need to start at the top and work down from there. Uh, one of my biggest disappointments and leadership on both sides, Yao, uh, they set the tone and they bring forward legislation, they control the agenda, and the fact that some of the bills that they're bringing forward uh, and how the rules are, uh, it really sets a negative tone and I blame leadership on both sides, Yao. Michaud says he and the other members of the No Labels Problem Solvers group meet on a regular basis. The coalition is headed by former Republican Governor John Huntsman of Utah and Democratic Senator John Manchin of West Virginia.